Yes, uh, welcome once again. Uh, this is um, part B of uh, what problems on fraction. Uh, let's quickly pick out uh, uh, one or two questions uh, from jump past questions that relates to what problems on fraction. So, as you can see on your screen, we have a question that states that three boys shared some oranges. The first received one third of the oranges the first receive one third of the oranges so when you look at it recall that we said we should always look out for our punctuations the first receive one third of the oranges and that i've interpreted here okay they share some oranges let the oranges they shared be x but in fraction time that is one over one okay the first now received one third one over three this is in fraction time but in real value it means the person received one third of x Receiving one third of x will then mean x over 3. That is for the first person. And then uh, in the question, we moved forward. It says the second received two thirds of the remainder. The second received two thirds of the remainder. Now, talking about the remainder here, talking about the remainder, let's quickly talk about the remainder. The total fraction is 1 over 1. If the first had received 1 over 3, so my remainder is going to be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3, and that is going to give me 2 over 3. So, which means that the second received 2 third of the remainder, which is what? 2 over 3, and that makes it that the second received 4 over 9 in terms of fractional value. But in real value, in real value, that means uh, the, the, the second person received 4 over 9 of x, which means uh, 4x over 9 in uh, real value. So for this, this is the fractional value for the first person. This is the total fraction. So the second person received 2 over 3 of the remainder. What is the remainder? 1 over 1, take away the fraction the first person received. We have 2 over uh, 3. So 2 thirds of the remainder which is 2 over 3 that gives us 4 over 9 in fractional value so it means that the second person received 4 over 9 of x and that is 4x over 9 moving on with the question uh it goes further to says and, and says if the third received the remaining 12 oranges so it means we have a third person a third person who received 12 oranges who received 12 oranges. So what do they want in this question? We were asked, um, uh, we were asked, how many oranges did they share? How many oranges did they share? So this is the oranges they share. Are you with me? The oranges shared is actually X. So looking at it, I think if we look at the oranges the first person got, that is, there are two approaches to this. Let's look at it in terms of real value first. Uh, what the first person got was, x over 3 what well, the second person got was 4x over 9 and what the third person got was 12 oranges everything should give me x so this is what i need to work on to get my answer so working on this lcm of this is going to be 9 3 in 9 3 3 times x 3x 9 9 1 1 times 4x 4x 1 in 9 9 9 times 12 that is 100 and uh, 8 equals to x yes 108 equals to x so that means 3x plus 4x that's 7x plus 108 equals to 9x so that 7x plus 108 equals to 9x so that what we have is 108 equals to 9x minus 7x so that um 108 equals to 2x therefore x equals to 108 divided by 2 so x equals to 54 oranges of course that is the first approach look at uh, if that's if we are using real values now i'm thinking if we are using fractional value we could still make things work okay now um the way i am seeing things uh is that um Okay, since the total fraction is 1 over 1, I can say for the third person, fraction for the third person, fraction for the third person is going to be 1 over 1, take away 
what did the first person got? The first person got 1 over 3. The second person got 4 over 9. So far is that we use real value to get the total number of oranges uh, that we can have. Another approach that we can use here is to go the fractional way. In this case, the total fraction is 1 over 1. So if the total fraction is 1 over 1, how about we take out the fraction for the first person, take out the fraction for the second person, so that we are left with the fraction for the third person. So the fraction for the third person is going to be 1 over 1 minus what the first person got plus what the second person got. So 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3 the SMA is 9, so what I have is uh, 393, 3 plus 4. 1 over 1 minus 7 over 9, which will give me 2 over 9. 2 over 9 is what the third person got. So you are also telling me, the question also says that the third person got 12 oranges. So I am thinking 2 over 9 of the oranges, which is X, by the way, X, by the way, equals to 12 oranges equals to 12 oranges 12 equals to 12 that is what we have so that 2 over 9 2 over 9 of x equals to 12 and that's 2x equals to 12 times 9 so therefore x equals to 12 times 9 over 2 2 year 1, 2 year 6, x equals to 54 oranges. So, it still goes the same way. Distinguish, know that your total fraction is always 1 over 1. Distinguish between fractional value and real value, and then flow. Once your thinking and your approach is right, your answer will definitely be right. And come to think of it, uh, this question is actually a jamba question a past question in uh, utme and that is for the year let me see that is for the year um come let me check my, okay that is for the year 1986 question six 1986 question six so with it's not about any magic it's nothing special you just have to adhere to the instruction and in the last uh, lecture contents that we drop all the skills the processes you need to follow had already been outlined so you just need to check out that video it's a one hour video you need to check that out and uh, you would really understand and have a good hold on what we are doing moving on to uh, another past question let's quickly look at this a student as you can see on your screen a student spent one over five of his allowance on books one over three of the remainder on food and kept the rest for contingencies. What fraction was kept? Very easy and direct question. A student spent one over five of his allowances on book. Books here is one over five. Okay. And um, one over three of the remainder on food. So food here is one over three of remainder. So what is the remainder is the question that you ask. The remainder is going to be 1 over 1 because total fraction is always 1 over 1. Take away 1 over 5, you get 4 over 5. So what this means is that um, on food is 1 over 3 of 4 over 5 and that is going to be 4 over 15. That is what is spent on food. Now the question we've been asked is it kept the rest for contingencies. So kept what was being kept is what we were told to look for what fraction was kept very easy total fraction is one over one take away what was spent on food one over five and what was spent on uh what was spent on books and what was spent on food so that what we have okay the lcm here is 15 5 in 15 3 3 times 1 3 15 in 15 1 1 times 4 4 so 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 7 over 15, and that is going to give us 8 over 15. That was what was kept. In this question, that is uh, option B. Okay, that ends, that, that's also a jam question, and that question is um, 2009 question 6. Yes, 2009, 2009 question 6. 
So we don't have any, uh, this is not about uh, any magic. Uh, it's just purely uh, things you must know as to prepare uh, for this jam. So moving on to the next question. Moving on, you can see another question displaying on your screen. This is also a jam question for 1990 question uh five three children shared a basket of mangoes in such a way that the first child took one over four of the mangoes three children shared a basket of mangoes in such a way that the first child took one over four of the mangoes okay they were going to share uh mangoes let the mangoes share the x okay the first child the first child took one over four of the mangoes this is in fraction but in real value this is one over four of x and that is a uh, x over four and that is x over four okay um the second three over four of the remainder okay for the second as you can see on your screen for the second the second shared uh three over four of remainder not of the mango so we need to quickly look for the remainder the remainder here is one over one minus one over four and that's going to give you three over four now three over four of three over four that is going to give you three times three nine over sixteen so it actually means that the second person in fraction received nine over sixteen but in real value the second person received 9 over 16 of x and that is 9x over 16 so what do they want in this question as you can see on your screen what fraction of the mangoes did the third child take of course very easy um if the o mangoes being shared is x okay in re in fraction value that's one over one or one so for the third child the third child is going to be one over one minus take away what the first person received which is uh, one over four and then the second child which is nine over 16 lcm here is 16 four in 16 for four times one four 16 is 16 one one times nine nine so one over one minus this so one over one minus four plus nine that's 13 over 16 and one over one minus 13 over 16 is going to give you three over 16. This question is a past question. It's a past question, and that is 1990, 1990 question 5. That is how uh, it works. Once your thinking is right, once your interpretation is right, everything is going to uh, be set uh, right. Okay, moving, moving on for uh, the year 1990, we have another question, and this for 1990 uh, was question seven so which means we had two fraction uh question for a single year so you can see the reason why you have to take your work problems on fraction very seriously the question goes that three brothers in a business deal share the profit at the end of the contract so it means there is a profit to be shared let the profit be x so in fraction from that will be one over one or one okay and um they said um the first received one over three of the profit that's one third of the profit so the first received uh one third of the profit one third of the profit but this is in fraction value but in real value that's one third of x that would be x over three and moving forward with the question second two over three of the remainder that's two third of the remainder so the second is receiving two third of the remainder, not of uh, what is being shared. So you need to look for the remainder. The remainder here is going to be one over one, which is the total fraction that we have. One over one, take away what the first person receives minus one over three. That's gonna give you two over three. So two over three times two over three, that will give us four over nine. So what that means is that in fraction form, the second is receiving one, 4 over 9, but in real value, the second is receiving 4 over 9 of x, and that will be 4x over 9. So we move forward. 
um, we were told here, if the third received the remaining 12,000 Naira, okay, the third received 12,000 Naira. So what we've been asked here is that we should decide what profit was uh, shared. The profit here is X, and that is our question. Of course, this is a very, uh, uh, this question quite easy to approach. There are two approaches to this. You can go the fractional way. You can go the real value way. Okay, let me go the real value way. If I look at what the first person received, x over 3. If I look at what the second person received, 4x over 9 plus... I'm silence. I'm not sure. I'm so we were told here to look for the uh, profit uh, being shared, which is X. And in this case, we can go uh, in two ways. We can decide to use the real value. We can decide to use the fractional value. In this case, the real value is X over 3. Oh, sorry. In this case, the real value, I can decide, okay, what uh, the, the first person uh, got as profit, that is X over 3. What did the second person get? Uh, 4x over 9. What did the third person get? 12,000. Okay. Everything should be equal to the total profit shared, which is x. So, in this case, my LCM is what I'm going to look for. My LCM is 9. 3, 9, 3. 3 times x, 3x. 9, 9, 1. 1 times 4x, 4x. 1 in 9, 9. 9 times uh, 12,000. That is 108. 108,000 equals to X. So this is going to give me 7X plus 108,000 equals to 9X. Of course, 7X, 9X, that's going to give me 2X equals to 108,000. So that X equals to 108,000 divided by 2. And that is going to give me uh, 54,000. So 54,000 Naira is the profit uh, being shared. That is if we go the real value way. Of course, we can as well go, of course, we can as well go at uh, the fractional value way. In this case, I can look at, let me get the fraction that the third uh uh, person got the fraction the third person got so that the fraction will be one over one since this is the total fraction take away the fraction of the first person which is one over three plus take away the fraction of the second person which is four over nine okay so the third person here got one over one minus lcm here is nine okay three nine three three times one three nine nine four uh, nine nine one one times four four 1 over 1 minus 7 over 9. You're going to get 2 over 9 in this uh, situation. So what this means is that 2 over 9 of the profit equals to the 12,000 that the third person got. 12,000. So the implication of this is that now we move here so that I have 2 times the profit which we represented as x by the way equals to 12,000 times 9 so that the profit equals to 108,000 divided by 2 you're still going to get 54,000 so it doesn't matter the way it doesn't matter uh, if you're going the fraction way if you're going the real value way so once your thinking is right and once your interpretation is right then your answer is going to be uh, right. And then, you know, we have another question, as you can see on your screen. It states, three over four of the girls in SS1 play basketball. So, okay, I don't have a punctuation here. And four over seven play volleyball. So, it means here that I have basketball. 3 over 4. And um, 4 over 7 played volleyball.
four over seven. Every girl plays at least one of these games. If twenty-seven girls play both games, okay, both games. Now this is given in fraction, okay, for both games. You're looking at twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Girls play both games. How many girls are there in the class? But take note, three over four of the girls play basketball. Four over seven played volleyball. Every girl plays at least one of this game. That's a point there. Every girl plays at least one of this game. So we're being asked how many girls? Number of girls. Let number of girls be X. And that is our question we want to know how many people in the class normally normally if you look at the question three over four of the girls in ss1 play basketball four of us play ball. every girl plays at least one of these games if 27 girls play both games how many girls are there in the class this is a case of what we call repeated repeated counting because there are those who played basketball who whom have now been counted as having played both games. And there are those who played volleyball alone who have now been counted as well as playing both games. So in a case like this, what you do is uh, you can use what we call Venn diagram. And uh, even in the Venn diagram, you still have to distinguish between uh real values and fractional values okay this is what we have we call that the number of girls in the school that's going to be x that's going to be outside there as a universal set okay you have basketball you then have okay let this be basketball let this be volleyball okay those who played both games that's 27 that's what this represents but this place here means basketball only this year means both games those who played both games and this year means volleyball only so for me to get basketball only i have to say for me to get basketball only i have to say um basketball only that has to be those who played basketball take away those who played both which is 27 now for basketball, that is 3 over 4 of x. I'm not talking fractional value. This here is fractional value. We're looking at 3 over 4 of x. And that will give you 3x over 4. So this is real value. For this, 4 over 7 of x, that will give you 4x over 7. These are real value. So since I have real value here, basketball only here is going to mean 3x over 4 minus 27 so that is basketball only now for the volleyball volleyball only is going to be those who played volleyball take away those who played both so that i can get that there so this is going to be 4x over 7 minus 27 to avoid a case of repeated counting so in this regard uh, for me to get the total number of girls in the school, that's going to be 3x over 4 minus 27. That's basketball only. Plus both. Basketball, when you say both, that's basketball intercession, volleyball. Plus volleyball only. Volleyball only. So. This is plus 27, then plus 4x minus 27, okay, over 7 here. So this is what I have to deal with. And this invariably means 3x over 4 minus 27 plus 27 plus 4x over 7 minus 27. This, this out, minus 27 plus 27 out everything equals to um x that's the total number of pupils in the school of girls in the school rather so 
Having this, this means what I have to now work with is 3x over 4 plus 4x over 7 minus 27 over 1 equals to x. So if I, once I calculate for my x, that means I now know the number of girls in the school. But the point is still you have to know your fractional value and you have to know your real value. That's a very important point when it comes to dealing with what problems on fractions. Okay, LCM here is going to be 28. 4 in 28, 7, 7 times 3, 21x. 7 in 28, 4, 4 times 4, 16x. Yes. 1 in 28, 28. 28 times uh, 27. That is 756. All equals to x. So, you know, dealing with this, 21x plus um, 21x plus 4, 4 in 27, 21x plus uh, 16x, that's going to give us 37x. 37x minus 756. All equals to this 28 is going to come here equals to 28x. So if I move this here, that becomes 756. 37x minus 28x because this is moving to the side. So that the seven take away uh 28 that's going to give you 9x equals to 756 x equals 756 divided by 9 so uh this here is going to give me um x equals to 84 yes 84 so i have 84 goals So, nine, that's uh, 37 minus 8x, that's 9x equals to 756. So, x equals to 756 divided by 9, that is going to give you 84 girls. So, looking at it, the number of girls in there from that question talks about 84 girls, and that ends that. Now, let's take um, one more question before we put this stop to work problems on fractions. Moving on to the next question, as you can see on your screen, we were told during a year, one year in a school, okay, five over eight of the student had measles. So we here we had measles. Five over eight of the students had uh, measles, okay, and um, half had chicken paws. Half had chicken paws. Chicken paws. That's half had uh, chicken paws. Okay. One over eight had neither. Neither measles or chicken paws. That's one over eight. Okay. Um, what fraction of the school had both measles and chicken paws? Okay. Fraction. that had both measles and chicken pots. For a question like this, I could still decide to go the way of, um, you know, um, what we call a Venn diagram, or I just purely use uh, a fraction, but, okay, I think, uh, okay, if we look at things this way, this is a Venn diagram. Everything here is talking about fraction. Everything talks about fraction. So I could say, okay, let this be measles and let this be chicken paws. Okay. Um, because I'm dealing fraction, of course, what we usually call universal set is usually on the outside this way. But because my total fraction is always one, so it means that my universal set or the total fraction in this case is going to be 
uh, 1 or 1 over 1 neither those who, do, uh, who don't have uh, measles or chicken pulse is going to be outside of the set so that's 1 over 8 okay and um, here you're looking at measles only measles only here you're looking at chicken pulse only and for this you're looking at uh, fraction for measles fraction for measles and chicken pulse that's what you're looking at for this uh, part of the venn diagram of course let me call this x let me call the fraction here x so that 5 over 8 here will be for measles only here to be 5 over 8 take away x that's those having both those having chicken pulse only is going to be um 1 over 2 take away x that is how you get your chicken pulse only so that in this case the total fraction which is 1 1 over 1 equals to uh, measles only which is 5 over 8 minus x plus x plus 1 over 2 minus x plus those who don't have uh, either um, chicken pulse or measles which is 1 over 8 so once we solve this whatever we get for our, our x is the answer so this is 1 over 1 equals to 5 over 8 minus x plus x plus 1 over 2 minus x plus 1 over 8 this this out minus x plus s out so that what i have is 5 over 8 plus 1 over 2 minus x here it's same as minus x over 1 so that the lcm here 8218 is what 8 1881 1 times 5 5 2 in 8 1 well, 2 in 8 4 4 times 1 4 1 in 8 8 8 times x 8x 8, 8 in 8 1 1 times 1 1 and then I have my 1 over 1 here. So what that invariably means is 2, uh, uh, 8 is going to come here. 8 equals to 5 plus 4 plus 1. That is 10. 10 minus 8x. So that if um, minus 8x comes here, it becomes 8x. Then 10. If 8 moves here, it becomes minus uh, 8. So 8x equals to 2. Therefore, x equals to 2 over 8 which equals to 1 over 4 this is our answer so uh the fraction of those who had both measles and chicken pulse is 1 over 4 what did we make use of here we made sure we avoid repeated counting repeated counting but in this case we're dealing in terms of fraction and because we know quite well that Total fraction is always 1 or 1 over 1. So that makes it easier for us to know that, look, this is going to be our universal set. And uh, the fraction of those who had neither measles or chicken pulse was just put outside of uh, the set here. So that ends that on um, what problems on uh, fraction. So uh, I would implore you um, to uh subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that at each time that we upload content as it relates to uh your utma preparations you can get uh notified also do well uh, to share with your friends and on uh, what problems on fractions if you do have any questions as far as fraction is concerned that you're battling with you have a direct access to us all you need to do is check us out on our website at uh, 300plusacademy.com join one of the whatsapp group send of course your questions uh you know those questions that has been uh, somehow send it to any of the admins then you're sure to get a reply from us um with that we've come to the end of this topic next on the uh arrangement of things uh, is likely to be uh indices that's as far as mathematics is concerned. So turn on the notification bell 
um, so that you get notified when we, of course, upload uh, lectures. So from me to you, for now, it's bye.